Cancers, welcome back to my channel and welcome to all my returning subscribers. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into your reading. If at any point you would like to get a personal service with me, check out the description box or the comment section for the information. Also, if you would like to find me on other social medias, uh, send me any tarot decks that <laughs> you may be... Um, may have created or whatnot definitely feel free to reach out and all that stuff but let's go ahead and jump into the reading itself so for the first cards that we have if I can talk I have the nine of cups and the ace of wands so okay so first two messages that I'm picking up here everything is aligning for your highest good and this isn't just some sort of cliche uh, affirmation that I'm just saying this is definitely with this nine of cups and the ace of wands everything is working in your highest good I'm getting this sense that there's going to be some sort of revelation that comes to you when it comes to certain experiences that you've went through uh, throughout this year. Within the last actually three years I'm picking up on, you're going to start to have that aha moment where you're like, oh, that's why that happened. Especially with this nine of cups, I I'm seeing that there's adjustments that spirit is making in light of making space for newness in your life, especially with this ace of wands. This is God directly <laughs> the universe directly your spiritual team directly giving you that opportunity to have that fresh start uh in a way where it counts okay there could have been certain goals that you guys have had uh throughout the last couple of years that you haven't had a chance to really buckle down and focus on because life has been more so taking the front seat but the clear direct message with both of these cards showing up is that now the opportunity is presenting itself for you guys to change that to make the opportunity that you guys are trying to go after really count this time um, considering that certain things have been cleared out to make way uh, I'm also getting this sense that a lot of you have been just kind of resting upon your uh, <laughs> laurels or have been resting upon things just being okay. Like maybe you're not in a situation where you're struggling for money or anything like that, but spirit is reminding you to not be too comfortable and just kind of sitting in, uh, just, you know, having just enough or just being okay. Uh, when you guys can definitely level up in certain ways. And this, uh, this is also speaking to in reverse for some of you guys being grateful for what you do have and know that you have an opportunity to make it even better let's keep going cancer someone rising in venus placements cancers so I have the three of cups that flip. So first thing I heard actually seeing the way that the card flipped too, uh, I'm hearing watch the company that you keep, be aware of the people that you keep in your space. Okay. There could be certain people who are in the midst of your energy that just are not deserving of it. Or uh, you need to be careful of who you share certain pieces of information with as well is what I'm hearing. Um, I'm also getting the sense that there could be a relationship in your life where you're considering whether or not you would date them further than just being friends. And the message here may be that it may be better for you to kind of maintain that friendship because things may get complicated down the road if there were this like boundary of that being crossed, considering this person could be connected to someone else at the moment as well. I'm also getting the sense now the nine of cups, the ace of wands and the three of cups spirit is saying that you guys are going to have a lot to celebrate <laughs> pretty soon uh, beyond just this month. Like some of you could actually be in a very celebratory mode actually, uh, or needing to be in a celebrate celebratory mode in terms of how far you've came and how grounded you guys are emotionally in the moment as well. But for others of you, this is speaking to, if you haven't necessarily gotten to that place quite yet, spirit wants to remind you that in regards of the complications, the obstacles, issues that other people outside of you could be trying to cause you, you guys are gonna have a lot to celebrate about and everything, like I said, is going to come full circle in some sense, or it's going to 
in the end align you with your personal path, the path that you're supposed to be on. Like, I feel like there's certain experiences that you guys have been going through that have been more so preparation than even hindrance, if that makes sense. But let's keep going. I'm also getting the sense that you guys do need to reconcile that piece of you that's worried about reconciling with an ex who could be a little bit conflicting. Yeah, five of cups. There could be an ex that could be very conflicting to your energy towards your personal growth. Also with the five of cups, this is another reminder to not be so caught up in what has been lost in your life or what has not worked out to a point to where you ignore what is still working in your favor and what still is your circumstance. This is focusing on, yeah, I lost my job, but at least you have a home. At least you have options as well to, you know, get out of this situation, especially with the bridge being here. Okay, so spirit is definitely emphasizing a need to not focus on what is lost, but more so what can be gained in spite of. And last card I'm going to pull from this deck, we have the eight of swords in reverse. So yes, huge focus on mental health. I want to pull from here. Okay, but with that eight of swords in reverse, yeah, this is not being a victim to your own mental prison <laughs> or your mental confliction or overwhelming yourself to a point to where it, it puts you into the space of feeling stuck knowing that that's not your circumstance doesn't have to be all right so we have be lighthearted, and it did come out in reverse so some of you guys have been a little bit too uptight a little bit too hard on yourself needing to definitely take a chill pill all right so this card says Set your intention to be easygoing and playful today. Gift yourself with some carefree time to have fun. So where can you allow yourself to not be so worried about the future, worried about whether or not your person loves you, whether or not they're going to stick around, whether or not this relationship's going to work, if new love's going to come in, if you're going to be successful, when are you going to just allow yourself to kind of just be in a space of existing and having fun and finding beauty in the now? A lot of you have not been just kind of like, allowing yourself to just live and not be so serious about everything spirit is also pushing you guys to get back into that hobby get back into uh, playing that instrument creating crystal jewelry whatever this is that you did that brought you joy getting back into that and the card that I have that flew I have tree and it represents ancestry. So this is all about your family tree. Okay, so there could be a very specific mission that a lot of you are sent on in terms of coming to earth to heal some ancestral karma, to be that person that's gonna break the generational curses. And it's essential that you guys are just kind of being aware of that and reminding yourself of the fact that you're here to do this necessary work and not losing sight of that. There's also some things that need to be addressed around uh, family matters. Uh, maybe a conversation with a family member who you haven't spoken to. Uh, there's also a family member who could be in need of some sort of support, but these are the messages that I'm picking up here. I hope that this was helpful. Again, if you would like a personal, I do have the year ahead spreads up on the website and also the January 2022 forecast available. So check that out and I will see you soon.